All right, can the remedies used back in medieval times, I love the music, actually mm. be useful for what ails us now? Holistic pharmacist Sherry Torkus says yes, they can. Yes, they and can. And she's here to give her recommendation of three things she thinks you should have on hand, especially during these cold winter months. That's right. And we're going to start off talking about silver, which is one of my favorite ancient remedies that, believe it or not, still used today and actually been validated by modern science with respect to some of its health properties. Well, and, and doing the research for this segment, Sherry, I love the whole thing, born with a silver spoon in there. Yeah, you know what, I, I didn't realize um, until I started looking into silver where that saying came from, and I actually thought it had to do with just, you know, privilege, Privilege and wealthy, prosperity and wealth, and yeah. But, but it, it, those that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth, so the wealthy people, the ancient Romans and Greeks, they benefited from the health benefits that silver afforded, because silver is a natural antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral. And that's why people back then that were exposed to viruses is like even when the bubonic plague came through, the wealthy were less affected because they dined on silverware. They had like the silver cups and the silverware. I, and I think it's just so fascinating. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, really and you is. know what? We still use silver today. It's top line in terms of treatment at burn centers. We use silver nitrate. Um, it's, it's silver's used in catheters to prevent bacterial infections. It's used in, in pool systems to keep the water clean. And it is used to support our immune system health, which is what we all need this time of year. And what is this? Okay, so this is called Sovereign Silver. It's made with bioactive silver hydrosol. So it sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but just to help you understand what is the difference with respect to some of the health uh, uh, things that you'll see with silver, what you want with silver is a product that has a lot of bioactivity, and this is greater than 98% bioactive silver. It's very, very tiny, tiny particles that you can't even see with a regular microscope. You have to have a special microscope. They're positively yeah, so, charged. Yeah and they can work to attack the bacteria, the viruses, and all of those potential Where invaders. Where would I get something like this? At a health food store. Oh, a health, health food, food store. Right. store okay. You can get it online as well. So I'm just going to show you. This is, I use this actually before I get on the airplane. I just spray the oh, back nice. of my throat. Actually, this That's one here. That's a great here. idea. This one here. I want to make sure we get to all of them. Yeah, so this is the Bioactive Silver Hydrosol. This is the first day gel. I'm just going to show you. Oh, look at that. So if you have a little gel. burn, so say you're doing a cooking segment, oops, okay. you burn yourself, you just mm -hmm. put a little bit of this on, and it helps with reducing inflammation, promotes healing. That's great. Um, it's great for minor scrapes, cuts, wounds, Terrific. but what you want to look for again is this bioactive silver hydrosol. It's fabulous. Excellent. How okay. would we mm. use this peppermint? Okay, so peppermint, fabulous to help aid digestion, and again, it's been used since the Middle Ages, known to have digestive benefits, but we really didn't know why until modern science studied it and found out that the menthol that is in the peppermint, which is responsible for that nice, fresh, Hello. invigorating yes. smell. The menthol actually helps to reduce spasms in the stomach. Hmm. It helps to relieve gas and bloating. So a cup of peppermint tea is a great digestive aid after you've had a heavy meal and you're looking for something to give you some uh, And relief. you can literally do it in a tea form. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Peppermint tea great. is great. I mean, peppermints are helpful too. However, if you're watching your calories, they do have I a lot of I was going to say, we made peppermint patties yeah. yesterday on the show. Yeah, oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, it was really mm. good. But, but they probably weren't low-cal. No. <laughs> no, they certainly were very That's sweet. That's right, but they taste good. And, <laughs> yeah. and everything in moderation, right? Exactly. So enjoy your tea. And another um, remedy that was used in the Middle Ages that is still popular today is turmeric. Tumeric. And this is turmeric root. Have you seen this I, before? No, I thought I it was have. ginger. Yeah. yeah, it looks like ginger, doesn't it? Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and so turmeric has been very well researched. Thousands of studies, just like silver, again, like when we're talking silver, thousands of studies, thousands of studies on turmeric as well, showing that it has very potent anti-inflammatory compounds. So we can use this, you know, if you have an illness or you have some aches and pains and uh, joint issues, you may want to add some turmeric to your diet. Turmeric as a spice is great in curries. Yep. Adds a really nice flavor to um, stir fries and soups and stews. And this is a ginger turmeric latte. Really? That tastes great. It, the ginger is um, very invigorating as well, okay. so that's great for digestion, and that helps to soothe inflammation. And, you know, we, the, the, the rampant, these superbugs that are taking Oh, up, yes. Not, not good. Not good. So as a pharmacist, I always tell patients, only take antibiotics when you really need them, because what we have today is an issue where the bugs are getting stronger than the drugs. The bugs are changing, morphing, they're, they're adapting, and if we use antibiotics inappropriately, then when we really 
really do need them, they're not going to be there for us. So when it comes to viral infections, so colds and flus, your best defense is, is wash your hands, support your immune system, vitamin C, vitamin D, the silver, you can take that at the first sign. So if you feel yourself under a viral assault, start do spraying it. your throat, put, put some of the drops under your tongue. Right. You want to support your immune system. If you do get a secondary infection, bronchitis, pneumonia, and you have to see a doctor, you need an antibiotic, hopefully it'll work for you. Right. But again, only use them when you absolutely have to. Hey, Sherry has a great blog you can check out. Head to sherrytorkus.com slash blog. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks we know for you having travel me. from a long distance and we're Thanks so appreciative. Thanks for having me. If you're in the market for a car. Yes. What are we, we're going to talk cars? We are talking cars. We're looking at some of the makes and models that are top picks. The Edmunds Editor's Choice winners will be revealed in two minutes. Stay with us. <laughs>